Okay. Now we are finding out the average value, RMS value, form factor, etc. These waveforms, these output waveforms, these input waveforms. Whenever we are giving some AC alternating supply to the rectifier circuit, we are getting some output waveform. That output waveform is something but DC waveform. Okay. Now I am giving some time period also. So for example, uh, in our output waveform, one waveform is missing uh, in between pi to two pi. In between pi to two pi, one waveform is missing. and 0 to 5 we have some waveform is there based on this calculation this total waveform is comes to half square square okay sir so how to get this waveform ante direct electronic electrical valaki meku future lo ostadi if not csc vala come option led how to get this waveform ante please we have some some part is there some sort of circuit diagram is there by using the circuit diagram we are converting some ac supply to dc supply okay <coughs> now in this output waveform Uh, the total time period of one cycle the total time period of one cycle is 2 pi so how to get one cycle simply i am taking uh, 0 to pi is our on period is and pi to 2 pi we have some half period is there okay total 0 to 2 pi is a one cycle for example ela ipthunu sa cycle ante the first waveform is repeated one second for example ee waveform anedi malli repeat ayindi repeat ayindi up to 2 pi dagger repeat ayindi now up to this point is called one cycle okay but in this cycle total we have two parts are there one is on condition one is off condition wave form what is the on condition wave form time period 0 to 2 0 to pi that's why i'm writing the t1 t2 on period is 0 to 2 pi what is uh, coming to off off period that is pi to 2 pi the off period is pi to 2 pi simply i'm writing off time period is t1 to t2 equal to pi to 2 pi okay what is the total time period the total time period is nothing but 2 pi Okay. By using this diagram, we will discuss some points. That points is these are very important points for your uh, calculation part, some uh, simplification part. The I average equal to I average equal to what is the formula? One by t integration of t1 to t2, t1 to t2, f of t into dt. This is our normal alternating quantity method formula for average value. Okay. Now. What is T sir? Capital T is nothing but total time period of the cycle, the output waveform that is T equal to 2 pi, and T1 to T average equal to 1 by T integration of T1 to T to f of T into dt. This is a normal average formula in our alternating quantity. We substitute these total terms in our uh, I average. Sir, what is f of T? Okay, so, uh, T is nothing but total time period, and T1 to T is nothing but we have some on conditions are there and on con- off conditions are there. What is f of T? f of t is nothing but the standard equation of alternating quantity the standard equation of alternating quantity what is standard standard equation of alternating quantity i equal to im sin omega t and v equal to vm sin omega t now in our given expression the total terms in terms of current only that's why i'm taking f of t equal to im sin omega t the substitute all things 1 by 2 pi integration of 0 to pi first of all i'm taking on condition that is 0 to pi I am sine omega t into d omega t. This is on condition. This is called on condition. Now coming to off condition. Uh, pi to two pi. Pi to two pi. I am sine omega t into. Sir, not uh, I am sine omega t. Why? Because we don't have any waveform across pi to two pi. In between pi to two pi, we don't have any waveform. That's why simply out right uh, zero. Into d omega t. Okay, in off condition, in off condition we don't have any waveform. Simply I'm writing f of t equal to zero. But in our on condition we have some waveform, we have some transversal waveform. That's why you have to write the some standard equation for this period. That is zero to pi. Okay. Now just uh, this total value is zero. Simply I'm writing the I m is constant. That is I m by two pi, I m by two pi, zero to pi. Sine omega t into d omega t. Sine omega t into d omega t. What is the integration of sine omega t? That is minus minus that is just apply the limits on this one. Then we can get a I m by two pi cos pi minus half minus cos zero. Okay, sir. Just apply the upper limit first. That is pi and lower limit is zero. Upper limit minus lower limit. Okay, then we can get uh, I m by two pi. 
one plus one. Sir, how to get one plus one? Cos pi is nothing but minus one. Cos one eighty. Minus one multiplied. Ah, uh, cos one eighty. The cos one eighty value is minus one. That minus one is multiplied again minus. Then it is, it will be plus. Okay, and minus of minus plus cos zero is nothing but one. That is ah uh, two. The two and these two both are cancel. Then the get final answer that i over i over g equal to i m by pi. I am by pi. That is one by three point two one four into I am. Simply, I am writing zero point three six. I think zero point three six into I am. This is our final answer of of a rectangle in uh, average value. Then coming to I R M S. Okay, I R M S. Now see, I R M S equal to what is our main target? Find the I average I R M S form factor, peak factor, and peak to peak factor by using a perfect cell diagram. A perfect cell diagram. That is our main target. In our in our a uh, perfect cell derivation. Okay. See, I R M S equal to. We know already we have some formula, alternating quantity formula. That is one by t integration of t one to t two f of t whole square into d t. This is our uh, I R M S formula. Just root number of reps are this quantity, then we can get I R M S whole square equal to for simplification purpose. The simple one right hand cosine integral. Root number okay. For that step, the root right hand option is simple. In just one, I R M S square ki root. Manu square root test one. He root to neglect will be there. Okay. One by t t one to t two f of t whole square into d t. Okay. So substitute this total uh, value in that equation. Okay. Now get, we are getting uh, we are getting some equation that I R M S whole square equal to one by two pi integration of zero to pi f of t whole square. What is f of t whole square? I M square into sine square omega t into d omega t. Okay. I M square into sine square omega t into d omega t. That is the thing, but f of t whole square. Now see, just uh, come the total I M square come into uh, left side in front of integration because of that is constant. Now we are getting some term, some equation. That is this one. Okay, integration of sine square omega t into d omega t. Now what is integration of sine square? We don't have direct formula for integration of sine square. You need to find, you need to convert the the total sine square term into normal trigonometric term, normal trigonometric term. Sir, uh, by using trigonometric term, I am writing. Simply, I am writing sine square theta equal to one minus cos two theta by two. Okay, the substitute this total uh, equation in the in our sine square omega t, then we can get sine square uh, I m square by two pi integration of zero to pi one minus Cos two omega t by two into d omega t. Okay. Now the total denominator two is multiplied two pi. I'm getting m square by two pi. I'm square by four pi. Integration of zero to pi one minus cos two omega t into d omega t. Okay. Now see. <coughs> They separate this total integration part to one and cos omega t. Okay. What is our answer? Integration of one. What is integration of one? With respect to omega t. With respect to omega t, the answer is omega t only. But why? Because integration of one dx. What is integration of one dx? That is x. Integration of one dx is nothing but x. Simply, I am writing integration of one omega t is nothing but omega t, and apply the limits for omega t. And integration of cos. What is integration of cos? Sine two omega t by two. Integration of cos two omega t is nothing but sine two omega t by two. Okay. Just apply the limits on this. Then we can get uh, some answer that is I m square by four pi. I m square by four pi. Just apply the upper limit and lower limit. Then we can get pi minus zero. Okay. Now see uh, in the second term. If you are applying the upper limit on sine two omega t, what is our answer? Sine two pi, sine two pi. What is sine two pi? It will be zero. For sine two pi, cos two pi. Sorry, sine two pi, 
sin 3 pi sin pi for all values this will be zero okay if you are applying upper limit if you are applying lower limit what is sin term sin zero what is sin zero this will be also zero simply i am writing the total second term is zero if you are if you, if you are applying upper limit and lower limit okay the total term is zero if you are applying upper limit and lower limit on sin to omega t then you can get some answer that is i m square by 4 pi into pi okay simply the total pi term and pi term both are cancelled that is i m square by 4 i m square by 5 4 now what is the left side term that is i m square i r m s square equal to i m square by 4 okay the two the square will come into right side then we can get i r m s equal to under root of i m square by 4 i m square by 4 now root 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 2 and 2 both are cancel we are getting i m by 2 i m by 2 this is our final answer of i r m s this is our final answer of i r m s i r m s equal to i m by 2 okay this is for i average this is for i average and this is for i r m s this is for i r m s form factor form factor is represented with a k suffix f that is rms value by rms value by average value okay rms value by average value that is nothing but form factor it is a ratio of rms value to the average value simply substitute the total values the total final equations in this uh, form factor that is I am by two by I am by pi, both I am I am cancel. Then can get pi by two. What is pi by two? Simply in writing, three point one four by two. That is one point five seven. The K. Now coming to peak factor. The peak factor formula is it is the ratio of maximum value to the RMS value. Simply substitute that maximum value as well as RMS value. The maximum value is I am, and RMS value is I am by I am by two, okay. I am I am cancel. I am getting two. After substituting RMS value as well as average value and maximum value, we are getting form factor as well as peak factor. Now the final one is peak to peak factor. Peak to peak factor. Sir, what is peak to peak factor? Uh, that is in terms of current. That is IPP. IPP. Sir, before that one, what is peak to peak factor first? Simply, I am writing one graph in our final output waveform. That is this one. Okay, this is our final graph in your after exposure. Now, see, this is called maximum period of positive, and the minimum minimum period of given diagram. Okay, the maximum period is Vm, and minimum is zero. Maximum is Vm, and minimum is zero. Simply, I am writing. Peak to peak factor is nothing but it is a addition of it is a addition of maximum value and minimum value. It is a addition of peak to peak is nothing but it is a mag addition of maximum value as well as minimum value. What is the maximum value that is called Vm? What is the minimum value that is zero? Simply I am writing IPP equal to IPP equal to Vm is a uh, peak to peak factor for after exposure. पर आप फिर एक